What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection GameStop exclusive, the list of Chris Jericho. Here we do have Chris Jericho in the packaging in his own unique box. This isn't like any of the previous Elite figures. I actually like this style of Elite box. Hopefully maybe Mattel goes this route because it's less plastic, more less cardboard. But anyway, we do have Chris Jericho here in the packaging, as well as the list of Jericho, and a pen. He also does come with his scarf, and you just made the list. On the side, we have an image of Chris Jericho here. Same image on this side. And then on the back, no real read-up, just a couple of really funny list of Jericho things. We have Mick Foley, worst GM in the history of Raw, also terrible fashion sense. The Club, Gallows and Anderson. Uh, let's see, let's find another one. Big E for not allowing Y2J into the champion's hoodie. Huddle, excuse me. Uh, Xavier Woods for making making joke of Y2J's best friend Kevin Owens. People who don't appreciate good scarf. AJ Styles and his stupid and his stupid soccer mom hair. The friendship clown. WWE action figure collectors, you or me, going to get it. Me. And then the greatest of all time, Chris Jericho. This is just really hilarious. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get this guy opened up, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Chris Jericho posed then out of the packaging. Before we get on to the figure, let's actually take a look at his accessories. He does, for starters, come with this pen. Uh, let's see if the camera will focus on the pen here. It is a really nice little sculpt. You can see it's a ballpoint pen. Uh, the little uh, belt or little clip is right there. Nice little accessory, and he does hold this in his right hand pretty well. You can see you can make it look like he's writing a name down in the list if you really want to. Really like that. And then, of course, he does come with the list of Jericho. Now, unfortunately, mine, you can see there's a little bit of paint scuff right here, and that is a shame, kind of really wanted a pristine list of Jericho, but it'll have to do. And then you can see it, it does have a clip right here for all the paper. Now it actually really doesn't clip any paper in, it's just one solid piece of plastic. It looks really good though, and it is kind of dirty on mine. And yeah, it's rubbing off, so it's probably just excess scuff or plastic. And then Jericho's final accessory is his scarf, which just slides over his head like so. It's not the hardest plastic, but it's not the softest, so it'll keep its shape and looks really nice. I really like the accessories he comes with. He can only hold the pen, and trying to get him to hold the list will stretch his hands out. So your pr best bet is to probably have him hold the list like so. But really like the accessories. So let's actually have a look at Chris Jericho here. Now, like with all Chris Jericho figures, modern day, he is missing his tattoos. And the reason for that is copyright. He has a lot of copyrighted imagery. We have, like, Jason and then some band logos. So I can understand why Mattel can't really put them on, but he does have his Fozzy F tattoo. Really like this figure, and let's actually just take a look at him. Um, before we take a look at his detail, I will point out that this torso is yet again kind of forgiving. Uh, as you know, Jericho is getting a little chubbier in his later years, so maybe they should have given us a body that doesn't have the abs. I'm just saying that may it might be a little better to have a flabby Jericho than one where you can see his ab muscles. Just saying. But anyway, let's actually take a look at the figure himself. And I have to say... This has to be my favorite Chris Jericho sculpt to date. It actually does look like Chris Jericho here. I do love the fact that they added the goatee. Really like the detail in the hair. You can see it is spiked up here. It's getting longer in the back like it is in real life. Again, no tattoos because of copyright, but he does have his black wrist tape and the fuzzy tattoo. And then the same black wrist tape on this arm. And then we go on to his tights where it says Jericho. It is like a cream color. And then you can see Jericho in the cream with some silver and black there, along with the red accents. We also do get some purple there. 
He's wearing his goat tights, or if you don't know what that is, it's greatest of all time. You stupid idiot. And then we move on to his knee pads, which they're using the shorter knee pads, which I like. You can see it has Jericho running down both his kick pads here. Again, using that red with the silver studs and the tan color and the purple. Looks really nice. It's one of those that you don't expect the colors to work so well, but they end up working nicely. I do like that. So overall, really good figure. Loving it so far. So let's actually take a look at his articulation. Now he does have the standard elite articulation. If you're not familiar with the elite figures, it is a ball jointed head, although he really can look up all too well. He can look down a little bit, but not up. He can tilt his head side to side, which is pretty good. Does give us a full rotation here at the neck. Arms on a ball joint go out to about that far. He does a full 360. He spins at the bicep, single jointed at the elbow. We have a bend at the wrist as well as a swivel. He does have a nice ab crunch there. Waist, well, waist twist, excuse me. Legs go forward, back, and out. Although mine is a little stiff on... Actually, I don't think they go out further than that. That's a little surprising, actually. We do have a swivel right here at the hip. Double jointed in the knee. You can see that's one joint, and there's a second one. We do have a swivel right here in the middle of his kick pad. We do have ankle hinge, which is kind of stiff. I do like that. And then we get rocker ankle, so we can get Jericho in wide-legged poses. But that's Chris Jericho for you guys. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get the figure set up, and move on to my final thoughts. And if you don't sit around, you know what that means. You just made the list, so sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Chris Jericho posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really like this figure, and this is actually going to go straight to my display shelf. I'm going to take the Legends Jericho down and replace it with the list of Jericho, Chris Jericho. And again, really like this figure. If you're looking for this figure, he is an exclusive figure. You can find him at your local GameStop, or you can pick him up on Ringside Collectibles. I actually went into GameStop because I saw these guys were starting to pop up. Went in, found the list of Jericho, Chris Jericho, and I just had to pick him up. No questions asked. I just did it. Otherwise, he'd put me on the list. But anyway, love this figure. If you are looking for him, check your GameStops. They should be getting this figure in now. Or if not, you can order him off Ringside Collectibles. It's really up to you which one you want to get. I prefer getting them at GameStop because it saves you the hassle of shipping and you can actually take a look at the paint. Now it did run me about $24 which that is what GameStop is charging for their figures which it is kind of high but you know what it's such a really nice figure and the box looks good. I, I'm actually torn whether to display them in the box or out of the box but more than likely it's going to be out of the box. With that being said, guys, I really recommend the list of Jericho, Chris Jericho. So while, while you're at it, go ahead and like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other WWE Elite reviews, as well as all my other action figures. Hopefully there's something you guys find enjoyable. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And if I can find it and have room for it in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.